Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this week's shop update and giveaway. No catty! It's like super snowy and gross outside, but the cat has this trained that whenever she rings on the bell, she wants out. So we're probably going to be hearing a lot of that. <laughs> um, so um, we have a whole bunch of new stuff added to our website, backtoearthcreations.com. Um, we have already... Uh, sent out the email to our Happy Crafter Club, I think yesterday evening, um, letting them know they get first dibs on everything, just to thank them for their generous support. Um, so uh, if you guys are interested in getting first dibs on all of our stuff, you can join our Happy Crafter Club for as low as a dollar a month or $12 a year, and that gives you full access to early release on our shop updates, our live stream after parties, um, the more you pledge, the more you get kind of stuff. So we also have digital download content and booty boxes and all sorts of different things. Links for that are down in the video description below. But I want to announce this, uh, I guess last week's giveaway winner, Gabby Rivera. Congratulations, Gabby. If you could send us... Um, an email to backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com with where you would like for us to ship your $10 booty box to. We'll go ahead and get that shipped out to you just as quick as we can. And if you are interested in participating in this week's giveaway, be sure to leave a comment on this video after it's over. Like if you guys are here during the premiere, hey everybody, thank you so, so much for joining us here today. I hope if this winter weather is hitting you that you're staying safe and dry and warm. Um, so yeah, let's start looking at the shinies. Oh, okay, before I start showing you the shinies, we have these super cool canvas bags, canvas craft bags for sale on our website. Now, whenever yours arrives, it will have the little protectors on the, like, the leather zipper pulls that are on there. But this isn't the best angle to be taking you guys on a tour of the bags. But I'm actually going to be shooting a tour video of how I store all of my craft materials for whenever we're traveling in my bag. That's one of these. Um, and it's just perfect. It also holds my 11-inch uh, iPad so that I do art and stuff on. So it's a really great um, just purse purse too. But I love the durability and all the pockets. So that is for sale up on our website and is eligible to have our coupons used on. So if you are signed up for our newsletter, you should have a 15% off coupon in there. Uh, if you are in our Happy Crafter Club, you guys get a 20% off coupon. So be sure to check either your booty boxes or the Happy Crafter like club newsletter that we send out every Sunday. Um, and then if you aren't in either of those things, but you're still interested in one, please use the coupon code happy crafter with no spaces and no punctuation or capitalization or anything. And that'll get you 10% off of your order. And that goes for just about everything on the website. So we also have restocked, not like we don't have a full selection of all of the metal tones and gauges and wire shapes is what Parawire carries, but we have restocked what we have available of Parawire. So if you have been wanting to get your hands on some Parawire, but it keeps being out of stock or, you know, anything like that, just hop on over to the website and maybe we'll have what you're looking for. So this week we have um, some gemstones as well. And so I'm just going to take you guys through. We have a super thick very pretty labradorite. Let's actually zoom in just a bit. Ooh. And I'm experimenting with a new lighting setup. So now we have like wah, wah, wah. Uh, we can make weird faces on the on the stones. But this one is a great like just pocket worry stone or uh, we can add a groove to it there around the edges. Um, all of the cabs that are eligible to have a groove added will have that option. Some of them just aren't very good candidates. Like this one here, I'm not going to be grooving because it's just a little on the thin side and being such a large stone, if there's any sort of like um, fracture lines or cracks or anything, like stuff that it's perfectly fine for just wire wrapping and using for jewelry, but it puts a whole lot of stress on the stones to uh, to grind a groove in them and I didn't want to risk breaking such a beautiful stone on my grinder. Ooh, so pretty. Um, but fortunately we don't have that problem with any of our fused glass. So our fused glass is um, just about all of it. 
is a good candidate for having a group added. Now we do have some, I'm going to need to clean up the flashing on that one, but uh, we have some resin moons. Ooh, and this is one of the uh, Deep Ocean Valcox Frit Blend cabs that we had, we had been experimenting with, and I really, really love how that one came out also. Ooh, just a pretty little silvery resin moon. We also have, oh, check out the flash in that die grow. Now, all of our cabochons are great for wire wrapping, setting in chain mail, incorporating into beadwork. Now, this one's a little bit of a dud. He's missing one of his tips, but he's still a cutie pie. Ooh. And any, any of our cabs that are like what we consider defective or defaulty or less than perfect will have that uh, marked on the website as well. And we usually give a pretty steep discount um, for anything that needs a little TLC or isn't quite perfectly up to snuff. Pretty little purple moon. Let's see, some of these labradorites can be a little elusive in finding their flashes. Ooh! Like that one, you really got to catch it from that angle, don't you? Oh my gosh, that is pretty, though. Yeah, we already looked at that one. Here's another pretty lab. It's just a super, like, literally chill day today. It is so snowy and beautiful outside. The chickens refuse to come out of their coop. But, uh, I just love the kind of blanketed quiet the world becomes when it's all caked in snow like this. I mean, I hate driving in it, and I hate shoveling it, and I hate being cold and, you know, damp and soggy and all that stuff. But it's still just, just beautiful. Oh, my goodness. The flash in that lab, you guys. From both directions, too. There's... Now these ones were another custom sheet blend that we had done where we were experimenting with doing a darker freckling and I really like how it came out. Ooh, nice. This one cute. Super durable too. Oh, so vibrant. So we do have a couple of other trays. I just wanted to uh, kind of give you a quick look around at all of these beautiful labs and fused glass. There we go. Because we still have two more trays to show y'all. This one I think would be a really good base for a tree of life because there's kind of specific, a little bit of flashing down here, but up here would be a great candidate for putting the branches. Just my thoughts on it. So there is one tray. The next tray has, y'all seemed to really enjoy the um, mini earth and sky pendant, so we are, work or cabochon, so we're, I'm working on making some that are slightly more intricate that have like uh, more of the shimmery green down in the roots and maybe some cloud formations up in the top. But I wanted to introduce you guys to a new gemstone we haven't carried in the shop before. And this is Prionite, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I'm pretty sure these are, it's rutilated with like black tourmaline, which is just beautiful. Like I love that kind of texturing that lends itself. Like, it puts so much character into the stones, and they have a nice bit of translucency. Like, um, they're not, they're a little milky sometimes. Some of the pieces are much more transparent than others, but there's still so much character and some beautiful shapes, too. Like, this one, I think, is so, so pretty. In a really nice kind of almost pale jade green. But, like, check out the, uh... It almost reminds me of like a dark forest or something with just the way that the lines are all going in the same direction or Ooh, and then we also have some beautiful green shimmer glass and some beautiful dichroic pieces. And then this is another one of those Valcox blend that I just cannot get enough of. 
I kind of, oh, I wish I had, I need to get more of it because I want to do a mix of it with like some dichro as well. That'd be so cool. And then here is the last tray where we have some, now in glass terms, this is technically green aventurine because it's it just a term that they use for, you know, that kind of shimmery green, that green glass with a metal in it. Um, but this gemstone here is genuine green adventuring. I think, believe it's like, um, a feldspar maybe. I really need to brush up on my mineralogy, but beautiful. The, the light is not doing them justice. They have just a little bit of translucency, but a really nice, deep forest green and we have a bunch of cool shapes. Like, check out this beautiful teardrop. Just perfectly shaped. Excellent coloring. So, so pretty. And the, again, the camera just doesn't do it justice. And then we have some that have some interesting inclusions as well. Then again, the camera's not going to pick up on. That's fine. Um, <laughs> and then, oh, check out this great big one of the shimmery green glass. I just love the way that that came out. This is one of the pieces that we actually cut on our ring saw and then puddled out. That way we were able to use like a nine millimeter thick glass that I normally cannot cut with um, my running pliers. <laughs> so those puddled out really nicely. And then we've got some more cool, super flashy dichro. I really love that one too. So that is very, very vibrant but also subtle this one may be one of my favorites eee! i just love that color of green and then that beautiful flashing of the mermaid tones and then we've got another one of these seafoam baddies so pretty so yeah that's ooh, and then this guy here <laughs> so this is um, what is new in our shop this week, but don't forget we do also have a whole bunch of wire has been added both in round, square, and half round um, shapes and like a couple of different gauges and metal tones. Um, then we also have our craft along kits. Um, we're hoping to get our uh, pumpkin patch wire wrap kit restocked there on the website soon. Uh, maybe not, not by Monday when this is recorded but or whenever this is premiering but hopefully later in the week like it depends on whenever I can get the cabs finished um but yeah so always keep an eye on the shop because we're always adding something new and thank you guys so so much for your support and for hanging out here if you have any questions about anything um it, either leave us a comment or uh, send me an email at backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com and we'll try our best to be helpful to you but uh Good luck in the giveaway. Congratulations again to Gabby. <laughs> uh, be sure to send me that email so that I can get your winning sent off to you. And until next time, you guys, happy crafting. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>